Struggle stalwart and Bavonia trialist Dennis Goldberg has died. He passed away last night in Cape Town. The 87-year-old had fought a lengthy battle with cancer. Goldberg was one of the two remaining Bavonia trialists. The anti-apartheid activist was sentenced in 1964 at the end of the Bavonia trial to four life terms. He was the only white member of MK to be arrested and sentenced. Goldberg served about 22 years of his sentence. We've been getting reaction with regards to uh, this breaking news story, the passing of uh, Dennis Goldberg. And now we're joined on the line by the Nelson Mandela Foundation CEO, Selo Hatang. Selo, a very good morning to you. Very deepest condolences to you and the friends and family of Dennis Goldberg. Uh, your reaction to his death? Well, on behalf of uh, the board of trustees and the staff of the Nelson Mandela Foundation, we want to pass our deepest condolences to the family and friends of uh, Dr. Gold Dennis Goldberg. And Dr. Goldberg was uh, someone who was really special to us as the foundation. Uh, he uh, remained dedicated to fighting against inequality. Uh, in my last conversation with him in February, uh, he bemoaned the fact that uh, we still had so much... Um, uh, inequality in our country and uh, but he he kept on saying he's encouraged by the fact that he believes that the new leadership is up to the challenge so in his honor as we fight COVID-19 we it's time for us to hold the mirror and ask ourselves are we doing enough to deal with uh, poverty and inequality so talk to us about this last conversation that uh, you had with uh, Mr. Goldberg and some of the concerns that he raised with you and those that you heard along, you know, from, from many others. We spoke to Snooki, Dr. Snooki Zikilala earlier on, and he was raising some of the issues that uh, Dennis Goldberg was concerned about. Um, but, you know, talk to us about what sort of lessons can we learn from that man who dedicated his life in the fight for freedom for South Africa? Look, the... Um if there's one thing that uh, he he was particularly concerned about was uh, uh, corruption um, mm. he and crime and uh, I think if we are to do anything to honor him today is to ask ourselves what do we need to do to deal with the uh, crime and corruption if we, if we cannot even just um, uh, respect funds that are about uh, relief work to relieve uh, the poor of uh, this biting um, uh, poverty as a result of, uh, uh, of uh, COVID-19, you can see that uh, he is uh, well-placed to then make, express such a concern. Um, another thing that I think we can learn from him is how, uh, like uh, people of his ilk, uh, Madiba, yeah. uh, and Rumlangeni, uh, and many others, is uh, this, uh, the, the, living a life of values, mm. a values-based life. And I... Solidarity was at the core of uh, everything they did. They, they understood that um, you needed to see over differences in order to achieve the goals that you had set yourself. And I think if we are to do anything uh, today, is to try and bring back those values, is to try and ensure that we respond to the call that he made way back, that all of us must try and be an inclusive society that celebrates our difference. But it's also time for us to look within. Are we doing enough um, to deal with abuse, uh, the abuse of women and children? Are we doing enough to help uh, South Africa to at least bridge the gap between the haves and the have-nots? Yeah. And I think uh, we, we can only say that we still have a long way to go, but there's a, there's a lot that we can still do. Many would say that leadership, among other things, is about consistency as well as accountability. Dennis Goldberg, from what you know, did he embody those, those traits? You know, the, um, I like uh, the, the fact that you, you're talking about accountability because, again, that's one of the values that they held dear. And I think uh, if we are to do anything today, it's again to go back and say, uh, are we an accountable society? Are we a people who, um, when asked to do some things, an authority says uh, uh, for us to break the back of this disease, let's try and uh, help the poor. Let's try and self-isolate. Let's try and um, 
um, at least uh, uh, assist in the uh, process of uh, the nation recovering and healing itself. But of course, accountability also goes back to the um, law enforcement uh, 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 agencies, that the police and the, um, the military must treat people with dignity, yeah. that we cannot have um, ways of doing things where we still use language of scope and donor and we also try and uh, not uh, be helpful in dealing with the law enforcement. We must be accountable in that uh, sense. I mean, to see um, how uh, people who are in, in, a, in a church, for example, how they are treated, um, yes, you must uh, ensure that the law is enforced, but in that enforcement, you must also respect the dignity of others. And I think that's what um, uh, Dr. Goldberg uh, was always about. Mm. Dignity, mm. that the human dignity must be central to stuff that we're doing as a nation. And I'm hoping that, again, we will be a nation that will look back and say, we are an accountable nation that uh, respects human rights, but that we understand that at the moment our rights are restricted. But that restriction must also observe human dignity. I want you to, uh, Sedo, if you can, take us behind the glare of the cameras. Um, you have the persona, and then you have the person behind the uh, persona. Talk to us the, about that man behind the, the persona of Dennis Goldberg. Um, his sense of humor. Uh, mm. I call it a, a very naughty sense of humor. <laughs> Um, uh, even in the middle of uh, this conversation that we had in February, it was on the eve of the uh, 30th anniversary of uh, Madiba's release uh, from prison. Yeah. And um, uh, he will just crack a joke in the middle of uh, a, a serious conversation and you are not sure whether to laugh or to stay serious. And um, um, Madiba, in fact, uh, also reflected on this uh, on this sense of humor in Long Walk to Freedom. Yeah. He said that uh, the, 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 there, was the, there were these jokes that they would crack about um, the fact that they, the, 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 the suspicion that they had that they were going to be hanged. And uh, he said that um, Dr. Goldberg would then make fun of it and they would laugh. And then they, they ask themselves, should we be laughing about such a matter? He wa that wasn't Dr. Goldberg. Yeah. He, in his seriousness, he also had a touch of a father, someone who, who would um, also uh, bring you right and say, no, this must be done this way. But in a way, not in a way that's admonishing you, that's uh, making you feel small. Mm. Um, he, he would always just be observing how he needs to also uh, try and um, be constructive yeah. in his um, uh, critique of, uh, of, of our work. And I, I differed a lot with him on, on some of the aspects of uh, the work of the foundation. But it was always respectful. It was always with the sense that uh, uh, he understood um, the, the, the mandate that we were given by Madiba. Um, he still felt that uh, we, we, we can do more about the legacies of others, something that uh, we are still fighting hard to make sure that we don't just celebrate Madiba, but we celebrate his life and times. So in this honor, I think uh, as South Africans, as people of the world, we must then say, um, Dennis Goldberg, your fight for, um, for inequality, against inequality rather, we will observe that we, we, we will continue to fight corruption with everything that we have, that uh, crime will be something that we will fight uh, and ensure that uh, we honor you that way. Those are the memories that will be etched in the minds of many who loved and appreciated him. Selo Hatang, thank you very much indeed, sir, for your time and your perspective. Be well. Thank you very much.